What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Ken Wagoner, CEO of Avant Technologies. Pleasure to have you on today, Ken. How are you doing? Thanks, Aaron. Feelings mutual. Glad to be here. Yes, so I'm excited to be talking about the company, The News. Avant Technologies recently entered into an equity financing agreement with GHS Invest Investments. Can you elaborate on how this partnership aligns with Avant's long-term strategic vision, particularly in expanding beyond AI and into other technology sectors? Sure, be happy to. Uh, the investment uh, uh, that GHS has made in Avant really is a, a testament to the confidence they have in our path forward. Uh, we're we are, we're operating in industries that are intensely capital intense, um, and, and knowing that we have a partner like um, GHS uh, really puts our mind at ease in terms of the short term need for capital going forward, albeit in AR or AI or some other technology. And it, I, I talk about it as an insurance policy because we may never use it. We have alternate ways of uh, raising additional capital, uh, obviously, uh, that would allow us to move forward both in AI and in other technology areas that we deem appropriate. Great. So, you know, the press release mentioned that the equity line from GHS serves as an insurance policy for Vaughn. How do you plan to utilize this capital to ensure the company's growth and stability, especially as you explore new technologies and markets? Well, it is an insurance policy in the sense that we may never use it, as I mentioned. Uh, we may never have a need to, to use that in particular way of uh, funding the company. Uh, we want to explore other technologies that we can add to our portfolio. Um, so, so for us to be taken seriously as a technology company, we need to expand our base, which we plan to do. Uh, we plan to do that uh, through uh, joint ventures, collaborations, licensing agreements and the like. We're going to be meeting with institutional investors in the days ahead to present a global plan for Avant as we move forward. Excited to hear that. So you mentioned plans to explore the biotechnology sector. What specific opportunities in biotechnology are you most excited about? And how do you see Avant leveraging its AI expertise to make an impact in this field? Well, let me let me answer that question in, in the inverse, in the sense that uh, AI is everywhere that we turn. Whether we're we're talking about uh, supercomputing, the infrastructure uh, company that we're currently working on, or some other aspect of AI being incorporated into other technologies, for instance, biotechnology. So there will always be a need for um, AI, whatever path we decide to take if we go beyond where we are now in the uh, in the uh, infrastructure uh, company that we currently have. Uh, now, we are looking at other areas of technology. Uh, uh, biotechnology is where I've been spent my last 12 years uh, developing a, a, a biotech company going from an OTC markets uh, company to a multi-million dollar NASDAQ biotech company. So we, that, that is a one of the paths that we're actually looking on, looking at exploring. Um, I can't really I can't really discuss which path we will light on. We're in we're in intense uh, strategy sessions right now. As you know, um, I joined the company. I rejoined the company uh, about two and a half, three weeks ago, and so we've got a lot of work to do. Awesome. We'll have to have you back on to chat about that. So when it comes to institutional investors, with the expectation of attracting institutional investors, what steps is Avant taking to build relationships with these investors and demonstrate the value proposition of its expanded technology offerings? Well, um, I actually have those relationships. Uh, I've, I've uh, raised capital for the last 12 years. Uh, we, uh, we, our high point was when the company I headed up uh, uplisted to NASDAQ and we raised $90 million. There was, I have a, a host of institutional investor relationships that we plan on ex exploiting, taking advantage of, uh, and uh, we've got plans to do that and a timeline for accomplishing it as well. So in terms of challenges and opportunities, Avon Technologies explores new technologies and broader markets. What do you anticipate as the biggest challenge in this expansion and how do you plan to address them? 
Well, I think the biggest challenge to a technology company is always capital, capital, capital. There's never enough capital. And in, in these times when capital is um, somewhat scarce for a lot of companies, uh, that'll be, I think, our major challenge. On the other hand, because of the offering that we're going to be putting together, we think that we think that uh, the, the capital requirements will be readily met. We have a lot of uh, followers of our company right now. Uh, we have opportunities that uh, we're exploring. It's just a matter of executing. When it comes to the future of AI and data infrastructure um, and the future of Avant, what are some of the exciting catalysts that we should look forward to from the company in the next 12 months? Well, I think uh, as we grow the company, having it morph into what it's going to be when it all it gets better and grows up. Uh, that's going to include other area, areas that, of possible technologies. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the ones that we're looking closely at uh, is doing some things in the biotechnology area. On the other hand, um, we do have a solid footing in AI in the infrastructure company that we've developed, but we're kind of at an inflection point right now. We've got to decide what we're going to do when we grow up. Um, the, the supercomputing uh, infrastructure company that we have is intensely, it's very capital intensive. So um, I think what you would look forward to is just watching us grow and look at the areas in which we decide to expend our time and efforts and particularly our capital. And I think you'll find a winner any way you look at it. Yes, it's a very exciting time and a very exciting sector to be in. Thanks for all the information, Ken. It's been a pleasure. We look forward to having you back on for more updates as the company evolves. Well, thanks so much, Aaron. Pleasure.